Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to recommend a few incredible skills that you can learn over the next 12 to 18 months. As a fresher or as a professional, you might be wondering in which direction should you take your career. There is so much happening at workplaces these days, especially with respect to technology and skills that didn't exist much a few years ago are now in huge demand. And trust me, the rate at which technology is evolving only seems to be getting faster at an exponential pace. So you have no other option left other than pursuing the emerging tech skills in the upcoming years. In this video, I'm gonna go over top five skills that you can learn and these are the skills of the present and the future. Keep watching. Number one, artificial intelligence. Let me first share a few facts with you. It has been predicted that the business value created by AI will be at four trillion dollars in 2022. Since 2013, the amount of jobs requiring AI skills has multiplied by five. An AI engineer gets an average salary of $175,000 a year. These are pretty startling facts and whether we believe or not, AI is now taking over. Even if you don't master the intricacies of AI, you need to at least understand enough that it can be incorporated into the work that you regularly do. There are plenty of online courses that you can take to understand the basics and work your way up. Some of these courses are free and whilst others charge a nominal amount per month to provide you with world-class education. Number two, machine learning. Machine learning is perhaps one of the hardest skills to learn. And the reason it is so hot because it can automate many repetitive and mindless tasks, turning months of time into hours of time. Every company these days wants to do machine learning at bigger and bigger scale at less cost. Machine learning does has the brightest future in the coming decade or so. No matter what you do, you're going to be affected by machine learning significantly. Amazon Alexa, Siri, Google Home devices are great examples of machine learning. And to learn machine learning, you can take courses online or sign up for a course at the university. But to tell you the truth, it's not easy to learn and neither is anything else that's worth doing, to be honest. You will need to learn some of calculus, linear algebra and probability in order to make way towards machine learning and along with that, some programming language like Python. But to emphasize again, it has terrific future. Number three, digital marketing. Every company, regardless of their volume of business, requires digital strategy to grow at a faster rate. After all, all of us now search for things online to fulfill our needs. The digital transformation has completely changed the customers and it is now a necessity to engage with them on digital platforms. All organizations are investing heavily in their digital marketing strategy, whether it's content creation, SEO, or ad campaigns. And in order to do these things, they need people with the digital marketing skills, which is why it is one of the best skills for students and job-seeking professionals. Online courses on digital marketing offer great education and some of them are free and some are chargeable, but overall, it's an interesting and safe bet. Number four, data analytics or data science. According to a recent Glassdoor survey, data science is the highest paid field to get into. Here applies the basic notion of economics. The demand of data science is very high and the supply is low. So the salaries are very high and people are very much willing to get into it. Data science or data analytics job titles that exist today had no existence in the past. This merging piece of technology also has less competition due to its complexity and if you have this zeal and curiosity to be part of this whole technology revolution then learn this emerging technology. If you have the right attitude to learn things, no one can stop you from entering this industry. Number five, cloud computing. Another thing which is thriving within the domain of technology is cloud computing. But what is cloud computing? Let me provide an analogy to explain what it really is. When electricity was first invented, people used to buy their own generators to have electricity at their home and only those who had the money to buy generators therefore had electricity. But with later inventions, now we only have to pay for the electricity that we use and it is transmitted to our homes over vast distances and that too efficiently. Now apply the same concept to computational power. An organization doesn't have to buy hundreds of servers that they may not use so they use cloud instead for their data storage. Somebody else owns the hardware and infrastructure and company 
only has to pay for what they're using. Cloud computing is also a new piece of technology that many people are getting into. There is a huge transformation going on at the moment in all organizations to switch to cloud and people with relevant cloud computing skills are welcomed with lucrative salary and positions. In the description below, I have listed links to some of the free courses that are available online for all of these skills that we've just gone through. That's all for today. If you liked the video, then please hit the like thumbs up button. And if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to receive video updates directly in your YouTube feed. Thanks for watching.